Hello everyone, Miss Rita here. Today in this video, we are going to learn subject job at 2 of class 10, chapter number 2, Pythagoras theorem, practice set number 2.1. Before we start, let's study Pythagoras triplet in this chapter, theorem of geometrical mean, application of Pythagoras theorem, property of 30, 60, 90 degree and property of 45, 45, 90 degree. Now student, let's recall Pythagoras theorem. Triangle PQR, it is a right angle triangle, angle Q is given 90 degree. Opposite to angle Q, there is a side PR that is our hypo. So in triangle PQR, Q is 90 degree, so your Pythagoras theorem will be square of hypo equal to sum of the square of other two side so our hypo is pr square of pr equal to other two sides are given pq ka square plus qr ka square so this theorem we are going to use in this chapter now point to remember for this chapter is first of all side opposite to 30 degree will be half of hypo side opposite to 60 degree is root 3 upon 2 of hypo and side opposite to 45 degree is 1 upon root 2 of hypo. So you have to remember this point. Now let's start practice set number 2.1. Question number 1. Identify with region which of the following are Pythagoras triplet. The first one is given 3, 5, 4. Solution. Square of longest side is 5. Among these 3 numbers. Square of 5 is 25. Give the equation number 1. Sum of square of remaining side is 3 and 4. So square of 3 plus square of 4. So square of 3 is 9, square of 4 is 16. So here we get 25. That is give the equation number 2. On the first and second, what we get? Square of longest side is equal to sum of square of remaining side. So 3, 5, 4 is a Pythagoras triplet because equation 1 is equal to equation number 2. If equation 1 is not equal to e equation number 2, then we say what? It is not a Pythagoras triplet. Now let's start with the second sum. 4, 9, 12. Among these, the longest side is 12. Square of 12 is 144. Give the equation number 1. Now, the two remaining sides are 4 and 9. Square of 4 is 16. Square of 9 is 81. So, addition we get 97. Give the equation number 2. Now, from first and second, first we got 144. Second, we got 97, which is not equal. So, what will the square of longest side is not equal to sum of the square of remaining side therefore it is not a Pythagoras triplet same way we can do the all the sums which are given in the question number 1 5 12 13 is given longest side is 13 the square of 13 is 169 remaining side is 5 and 12 5 ka square is 25 square of 12 is 144 so we get 169 from first and second what we get Square of longest side is equal to the sum of the square of remaining side. So here we can say it is a Pythagoras triplet. Right? Now, student, do yourself the question number 4, 5 and 6. Now, question number 2. In figure 2.17, angle M and P is 90 degree. Segment NQ is perpendicular to segment MP and MQ is equal to 9, QP equal to 4, find the NQ. Okay. So now student, if you see in the figure, triangle M and P is right angle triangle, angle N is 90 degree and NQ is perpendicular to MP. Okay, Here we are going to use geometrical mean. So NQ is the mean. So square of mean is equal to MQ in into QP so square of NQ here we are using what geometrical mean so square of NQ equal to MQ into QP so NQ value is not given MQ is given 9 and QP is given 4 9 4 is a 36 and here square will come to the 36 and NQ is equal to 6 units question number 3 in figure 2.18 Angle QPR equal to 90 degree. PM is perpendicular to QR and QMR are collinear. PM is given 10 and QM is given 8. We have to find the QR. Before finding the QR, first of all, we have to find MR. 
so here also we are going to use geometrical mean the triangle pqr p is 90 degree and pm is perpendicular to qr by using the property of geometrical mean square of pm equal to qm into mr so here we have the pmq value is 10 qm is given 8 mr we have to find first square of 10 is 100 equal to 8 multiplied by mr divided by 8 so here we get what 12.5 QR equal to QM plus MR because they are collinear. So here QM 8 and MR we are 12.5. The addition of this we get 20.5. So our answer is 20.5. Question number 4. See the figure 2.19. Find RP and PS using the information given in triangle PSR. Solution. Triangle PSR angle S is given 90 degree. Angle P is given 30 degree. So 90 plus 30 is 120. As we know the sum of all the three angles 180. So 180 minus 120 we get 60 degree. So angle R is 60 degree that we call remaining angle of a triangle. Now student, first of all we need to find the hypo. That our hypo is PR. How we can find? By seeing that opposite to 30 degree which side is given? SR. So we have already SR value. So by using that property we can find the value of hypo. So SR is a half of PR. Why we are taking half? Already we have seen that property that SR is opposite side of 30 degree. So sides opposite to 30 degree will be the half of hypo and hypo is our PR. So now substitute the value of SR is 6. Now 2, 1 upon 2 will go to the left side become what? Multiply 6 to the 12. So PR we got 12 centimeter units. Centimeter is not given so you have to write units. Now we got the hypo. Now what we have to find SP. SP is opposite side of 60 degree. So as we know opposite side of 60 degree will be root 3 upon 2 of hypo. Hypo is our PR. So substitute the value of PR. 12. 2 1 2. 2 6 12. So we get 6 root 3 units. Remaining sums I will show you in our next video. And soon I will upload that video. And thank you for watching this video.